men as, oh, always a competition. Life works easier when we team up together and we do it as a partnership. Competition is good and we need our ego because ego helps to push you, ego helps to drive you, it gives you that sustenance, but you also have to be careful that it doesn't work against you, that you become belligerent, that you become narcissistic, that you become this monster and you think that, you know, it's all about me and it ends and stops with me. No man is an island and we all here can work together for the benefit of each other. Uh, when I started uh, in my field, obviously, I my nose is not straight, I don't weigh two pounds, my eyes are not brown, and the hair that I have on my head is by a bite, I've never seen it. So, um, I don't, you don't have a lot of women looking like me. The last woman that looked like me was Miss Lou. And she was revered until she passed. And we have a tendency to want to do things posthumously in this country. Whereby you can't tell somebody, say, you're good, tell them, yeah. boy, John no star. You know, she should have gone really wrong. Yeah. She's good enough. What? Such a dead so quick. And you've never said to her one day, well, you know, congratulations on what you've done. Boy, you did a good job. Or that looks so nice. Mm -hmm. And so we have a culture whereby we feel like we need to give backhanded compliments all the time. We feel like we have to step on each other in order to get to the top. I remember growing up, there's a there's a plaque in my house that says the ladder of success is never crowded at the top, and the words read upward. You know, and up when I was young, I said, "Mommy, why are you going up like that?" Because now you take the ladder up, you know, it will come down like that. And having grown and experienced and looked and still learning, still evolving, you know, I realize that there is room for everybody. You being successful doesn't mean that I can't be successful. It means that more of us will be able to open more doors for other persons. Because each of us will have our own um, idiosyncrasy. Maybe, you know, you come from St. Elizabeth, or maybe you're from Trinidad, or which island are you from? Vincent. Oh, Vincent <laughs> girl, hello. <laughs> yeah, or maybe you're from St. Vincent. You know, and so for another Vincentian coming, you can open a door. For somebody, for another tailorite, or somebody who is doing nursing, you can be an inspiration. So that competition is good, but when it becomes evil, when it becomes clandestine, when it becomes dark, now that is when the problem steps in. In life, we're not gonna like everybody. A lot of people don't like Miss Kitty, that's okay. I'm not here for you to like me. Jesus what the earth a sinless man, Turn water into wine, heal the sick, and raise the dead, and they're still crucified. At the end of the day, who am I? However, I'm going to try to be the best me that I can be without apology. Sometimes, you know, you come from situations where we all have our insecurities and we all have our issues. Sometimes you're not sure of yourself. Sometimes, you know, boy, I wonder if I can leave this group. I wonder if I can do this. But I will always say there's nothing wrong with having second thought, but there's a problem with being stuck there. Sometimes you have to just believe in yourself. There's not a blueprint. Uh, people ask me all the time, well, Miss Kitty, you know, you're so successful. Uh, how did you do it? And I tell them, hard work. You have to work hard. There's no getting around. There's no one trick pony like a thing. You know, unless you want to be a scammer, you're going to get caught. You know, <laughs> or a drug dealer, you're going to get caught. But hard work. And for me, I feel very proud of myself because I have not compromised my integrity, I have not compromised my dignity, I have not compromised anything. And so I can stand tall wherever I am and don't have to be on this order. With skeleton, I hope that don't pop it. Or I have something to say. And so it takes time. Some people will see people's glory and don't know their story. And they'll see your life and not know your sacrifice. A lot of us here at school, we have to make a lot of sacrifice. We want to go one more time. I have to study the book. I have a presentation on tomorrow. I'm there at the presentation. I just give me 20 pages. I'm going to read all of ignorant right now. I want to sleep. When you know it's beat season, well, eyes red, eyes are bleed, and a lot of people don't know these things. But as women, we have to understand that when you sacrifice and you can work and achieve, when you get there, you feel so good inside. To know that this is something for which I have sleepless nights. And you can be a testimony to other people. Because sometimes people see, you know, I think you just reach here. Like it's a trick, like it's a, like somebody wins a wand and it's like that. And I think that if we encourage, I want to empower women. I know that it is probably in our DNA 
to be very catty. You know, I don't like her. Why not? I don't like her. Like her. <laughs> well, she did nothing. Spirit doesn't take her. You <laughs> her. She wants too much. And especially women who want to be leaders. She too enough. Mm -hmm. You think she can have mm -hmm. that word? You're too enough for women. Yeah, you are. I'm going to be enough. Because I don't do back. I do forward. So if being enough means that I'm going to actualize my dream, well, guess what? I'm going to be enough. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to apologize to anybody for not wanting to settle for what is mediocre. There, is, there are many things for which you know, we can aim and achieve. And I don't think that we should limit our desires. I want to be an Oprah. Why we can't talk like Oprah? Why do Oprah have Oprah talk to me and talk? Why can't I talk to me and talk? Why can't I dream outside of Jamaica? So for me, you have to envision your life and speak it into being. I tend to find also that we have to be very mindful of the circle and with those with whom we have associated and how close in our circle. That's very telling. You have to be able to speak positive over your life. Remember, we're not going to be happy every day. We're not on ecstasy and mouths and stuff. And there are going to be days where we're going to be depressed and down and, you know, feel like you want to give up. But it is important that every day above ground, every day that you inhale and exhale, it's another day to get up, brush off, and go again. Have friends that are on your, what, the power of the fun. Because you know the power of progress, my girl, we can't talk about it again. Because it's that pretty done something, but not the it's not going to work. And I think that especially now more than ever, where we live in a very exhibitionist world, because everybody doing it for the gram and snap, hey, snap, mm -hmm. hey. No one is going to speak to all us, not before, before they're three of again, right? <laughs> snap. <laughs> and everybody's snapping. But you have to get off of that because a lot of people, the lives that you see on social media is not real. And a lot of people living on social media, you don't know what they have to go through in real life to be able to post that one picture. Pictures don't tell the full story because you're not in the room and you're not where they are. That has made it possible for them to post that picture. So sometimes there's nothing wrong with emulating someone. I look at Condoleezza Rice, I love her. I love Hillary Clinton, I love Beyonce. I like Oprah Winfrey. Because you know, you like different things from, you take different characteristics from different people. So you might like something about this young lady here, I like her deportment. Why am I like this person because of her diction? Why am I like she, because she can't dress, you know, she has a nice, I like her swag, you know? And so you pull from different people and you draw strength from them. There are times when you really have to look within and know self-worth. Let me just make this very clear. Education does not preclude you or exclude you from being used, abused, and having no self-worth. There are many women who are educated and have no value of self, no self-worth, no self-esteem. So don't be fooled. If you don't have 20,000 letters behind you, you must still be a dopey. So it's important to know yourself. You have to love yourself, flaws and all. Yes, I might not look like so-and-so, or yes, I might not be able to afford so-and-so now, Okay, and I have no, because we're dreaming and we're aiming and we're processing and we're moving in the direction. So I might not be able to afford it now, but I'm still beautiful in my own way. I'm still beautiful to me. Yes, my ear probably want to do. I am probably want to do nails and I really can't afford the nails right now. But that does not take away from my value as a person. Because a lot of Brazilian hair and a lot of acrylic. I had a multitude of nastiness. There are some people walking around with some baggage, but trust me, what a president they do, you know, you be still natural. You be chaibo, you be good, you be good, you be chaibo. All right. And so, I I just believe in being true to yourself. You have to know who you are, and not in a narcissistic or arrogant way. You love yourself first and foremost. Because when you love yourself, then you can give love. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot give what we don't have. If you don't respect yourself, you can't respect another female. You can't respect another female. And at the end of the day, I don't have to like you in order to give you your props. If you're good at something, you must can say, why? Do 
Who did I know about you? Yeah. That dog's in. Now, I'm afraid I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Our presentation is so good. I can't even hate. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk to you, but yeah. Because we're human beings. No, 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 Jesus. So, but at the same time, I don't need to banter you every day. Mm -hmm. I don't need to make up lies about you. I don't need to say things that are untrue. I literally don't need to build a story to try to galvanize support as why not. And, and you know from if Allah yet to go ahead with that. And to me, it speaks something about your character. If you have to go in the gutter to try to do that, what does it say about you? My thing about it is, I'm so focused on me and what I need to go. I have no time to sit people there. No, the bamboo the cover now see up. Focus, focus. Here, kind of the money something and something I'm up there. Kind of boy man, put me on no time. I we say name for title.
Because they must say, see, yeah, man. That's why we have a female boss. Can you see what it's there? Yeah. So we are the example of how we want to be treated. Hey, this is exactly the reason why y'all are where you are. So we have to not only want to lead, but we must also be able to follow, we must also be able to listen, and we must also be able to support each other. I heard this young lady say she wants to be her own boss. I hear that a lot these days. I want my own boss. I want to work for the body. I want to work boss. I have news for you. When you're your own boss, you don't get rest. Your hours are long. You don't take vacations. You don't get holidays because you got to be at work on Good Friday, Easter Monday, Sunday. When work came, you know you're off of that work. When the work on them gone, when the work has been, you got to be there. Everything is all on you. You have to be thinking, how am I going to get my business up? How do I keep it competitive? How do I keep it running? And so, I want people to understand that when you say you want to be something, understand all that comes with it. There's nothing wrong with aspiring to be. But remember, you're in it for the long haul. A lot of people see the money and the end product, and they like it. Sweet, you have to drive the Benzie. Sweet, you have to ask one, buddy. When I buy a talk to you, excuse me, speak to my car, don't speak to me. <laughs> Jolly. Sweet, yeah. I want to buck out in color and buck out here, so what do you say? I'm happy like that. But it takes a lot to be able to do that. We have to come to some, the table with something. Or it looks on our vagina, we won't cut it. We won't cut it. Because no matter what you think you can do, there are other people who can do the same and more. I ride on the thing, turn up on the road. I think, trust me, me can't keep up. So I'm going to try to keep up. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I just leave off my brain on my vagina because I can't keep up. I can't. I really can't. So when you're coming, what are you bringing? It just must not be academia. How you speak life into your friends, your family, your partner. I remember I was saying to my team when Zigbee came out, uh, no, Chickpea, I was, you know, we said, okay, we don't want to catch this. And we literally rebuked it. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to check these. Don't talk about it. Rebuke my air mask in the name of Jesus. Get away. Because we have to work. I remember to remember box. We can't stick it up. I even sit in can't go long. Because you got to be up and running. And so the words we speak are very important. Something that loud. Now I'm going to make you up. But that would not want for me. Lord, it's odd. <laughs> Why? Some, we talk to some people, they never have anything positive to say. They never have an encouraging word to say. And so there is power in the tongue. And there is power in what we speak and the way we speak. Again, our gentlemen will treat us how we allow them to treat us and how we invite them to treat us and want to present.